Tilla clover is widely used as a herbicide in India and its poisoning in humans is an understudied area. It is hence of paramount importance that we understand the various clinical presentations from its toxicity. Acute oral intoxication of this is said to present with neurological and even gastrointestinal manifestations. However, much details aren't known as yet. Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues Journal Club, your daily dose of health and medical news. I am Dr. Nandita Mohan and today I will be discussing about this rare herbicide and its effect on health. Pretilla Chlor is a synthetic chlor acetonilide herbicide and it is a broad spectrum systemic herbicide whose mechanism of action is still clearly not understood. A case study in the Journal of the Associations of Physicians of India did throw some light on it. A 58-year-old Indian male presented to the emergency department with an alleged history of oral ingestion of 150 ml of this undiluted pre chlor, following which the patient developed severe burning sensations in the throat and also two episodes of vomitings. The patient was initially taken to a local hospital within the first hour where gastric lavage was done with normal saline. On the first day of the hospitalization, the patient had multiple episodes of vomiting and burning sensations in the throat, for which he was managed conservatively with antiemetics and even proton pump inhibitors. The patient was also given benzodiazepines and anti-seizure medications. However, on neurological examination, plantar reflex was extensor bilaterally, deep tendon reflexes were absent, adequate bilateral pupillary response was also noted. However, over the next two days of hospitalization, supportive therapy was administered along with the addition of IV human albumin, regular chest physiotherapy and the endotracheal tube care. Daily monitoring of liver function tests and the creatinines were all done. Over the next 48 hours, the patient's clinical status did improve. He was weaning off from the mechanical ventilation and ionotropic support was tapered and thereby stopped. Hence, in conclusion, it was found that pre chlor poisoning does cause neurotoxic symptoms which range from giddiness, seizures to even coma. Education and awareness among the treating physicians regarding the neurotoxicity of pre chlor is an important aspect that needs to be noted from this particular case report. So, initial stabilization, close monitoring and supportive treatment are the mainstay for the management of pre chlor poisoning. That's all for today. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for latest updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe and press the bell icon.